Occlusion Laboratory Video Guides, Video 10, Group Function. This exercise will require your models with your articulator, a sharp tool, articulating paper, and shim stock. Make sure your Bennett angle is set to 15 degrees and your condylar angle is set to 30 degrees. Also make sure your incisal pin is lifted 3 to 4 millimeters off the table. As of right now, your model should have canine guidance. For the purpose of saving time, we will only be achieving group function on the patient's right side. First, locate the highest point, which is most likely to be the lingual side of the canine. The first tooth you will have to carve is the maxillary canine. When shaving contacts from supporting cusps, remember to remove from the mesial and distal inclines of the buccal cusps, not the contact point itself. The purpose of this exercise is to achieve multiple contacts along the posterior teeth during right and left lateral excursions. This helps share the forces among all the teeth. Remember that this procedure is most commonly used with dentures. The reason for this is to prevent the tipping of the denture due to too much force on one single area. By having multiple areas touching during excursions, the denture is less likely to tip out and it will be more comfortable for the patient. For this exercise, we will be looking for three simultaneous contacts along with the canine in the posterior region, as shown. Please take note that when working with dentures, it is also a good idea to have an opposing contact on the non-working side. This will prevent the denture from tipping during lateral forces. In the end, during lateral excursions, your model should make contact as shown.